Hello, hello. So in this video, I will show you how to create your very own shop or e-commerce page on your Squarespace website. So let's get started. So we're going to start by clicking on pages right here in the back end of Squarespace. And so because we're going to start building out our shop page, we're going to want to scroll down to the not link section. And so here is where we're going to add that products page. So click the plus icon and then you're going to select products. Perfect. And now just give it a name. So now I'm going to show you how to add a digital product. So click on the plus icon. And then instead of physical, we're going to select digital. And here we have our classic editor. If you see the beta editor, which is this one right here, please make sure to click on the classic editor at the top right corner to go back to, to the classic one, which I highly recommend that you do because it's just so much better. And so here we're going to start by adding our product images. And so click upload images. And so then select your images. And I strongly recommend that you select more than one. That way, you know, your visitors, your customers have options. And so now we're just going to start adding all the product information. And another great tip is that I truly recommend that you have all of this information ready beforehand in a Google Doc. So have the name of the product, the price and the description. That way you can just go back to that Google Doc and then just copy and paste all the information. And so I have my information right here. This is the name of the product. I'm just going to paste it right here and then you're going to click right there and add the price, which is $25. And then you can always select this button if you want to have that product on sale. But I will also teach you how to create your own discount codes. So you don't need to worry about this right here. And so here is where we're going to upload our digital product. So when our customers purchase, you know, this product, they're going to get an email with a link to that PDF file. So you would have to upload it right here. So just click on it and then add your PDF. Perfect. And so while that uploads, I'm going to go back to item and then just add in a description. And we're going to paste that right here and then just make sure that everything looks good. And you can always, you know, change the headings here. You have options to have it as normal paragraph text medium heading, large heading, extra large heading, or mono space. So just play around with that. And so as you can see, we also have this section right here of tags and categories, and this is great to organize our products. And in another video, I will teach you exactly how to do that. And so now we're going to go back to pricing and upload, make sure that it's uh, uploaded. Perfect. And so now let's go to additional info. And so here you're going to add any other details or information, you know, that might serve your clients. So just to show you how it looks, I'm just going to add a line and then add some text here. But as you can see, you can just click on the insert point and add images, videos, you know, audios, buttons. Um, you can even add testimonials. It's up to you. And so now we're going to click on form. And this is only for special cases, you know, where you need to collect extra information from your client. You would have to create a new form here. But I mean, this is only for special cases. So I don't recommend that you use this option. And now let's go to options. And so as you can see, this is a URL that Squarespace provides. Uh, but again, it's just a bunch of random letters and numbers. So I strongly encourage you to just get rid of that and add in your own URL. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my product title. And then you can also, you know, add your own custom button label. So instead of having add to cart, you can change this to, to something else. But if you just like the add to cart button, then uncheck that. And then you can also have feature products. And here, make sure to add a thumbnail image, which is basically the first image that your customers are going to see on your website. So I added these two images, right? But I want the first image to be this one. Perfect. And now we can go to SEO options, but just remember that Squarespace is going to automatically, you know, select the product name and the description that you gave right here. 
um, as your SEO. But if you want to change it, make sure to go ahead and do so here. And then we also have the social option. So when you share this link on Facebook, let's say, this is how it's going to appear. So as you can see, the image doesn't look really good. So I would actually have to create another image with these uh, dimensions. That way it looks good when I share it on Facebook or any other social media platform. And then you can also connect all your social media accounts here. And every time you add a new product to your website, it's going to share on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I mean, it depends on what social media platforms you connect your website to. And so let's just go back to make sure that everything is good. And then you would just click save and publish. And so just like that, we have created our digital product. Perfect. And so once you click on your product page, you can always, you know, edit it here. So just maximize the screen. And as you can see, here is where we add that additional information. So you can add, you know, anything you like. Perfect. And so now we have our digital product uploaded to our website.